Hi, I'm Josh, and welcome back to Ark Survival Evolved. Today, we are going to be hatching some rock drakes. Now, as you can see, I made a few more air conditioners. So let's add the final few. This is more than enough. This is, to quote the Mythbusters narrator, far, far more than is safe or even sane. Nah, these things do not explode. All they do is drain a little bit of electricity. And this should be enough for me to open up these rock drake eggs. Yay, they're all powered, so that's good. Now let's grab a rock drake egg. I'm also still breeding better megalosaurus. So let's grab a rock drake egg and see what it does. Oh yes. It's incubating. That's amazing. Cool. Now I need to gather a bunch of nameless venom. Now that means I need to kill a bunch of nameless. I think I'm going to use my Carquinos for that. Nameless aren't that tough, and the Carquinos is nice and mobile, and um, uh, that means I can go back to base, throw it in the freezer, and then come back. Yeah. Currently gathering some nameless venom, especially with the lights out. They respawn pretty quick. However, the drop rate for Namel Cinem is not very good. Not very great. Turn the lights out again, and they will spawn again. Pretty soon, pretty sure. Oh, that's a snake. There's some Namelus. Ooh, Alpha Namelus. There's some drop bears. Ooh, there we go. Some proper Namelus Venom. Good. We're getting there. Now for a bunch more. This should do the trick. Oh, it is pretty bright out today. Nice. Let's grab the stuff and throw it in one of these freezers, or probably both freezers. Oh, it doesn't go in a freezer. Yay. Didn't know that. Thankfully, I got some spark powder. Ta-da! Circo skin can go in here. And then it's starting to start hatching these, uh, the bibbies. But first dump the hazard suit back out. And, and some other stuff. That way I can carry a bunch of eggs while I wait. But the rock drake eggs will take a little bit longer to hatch. They're also going to be pretty heavy. I am not using Expendable 3 to eat these guys. But I'm curious what they're going to be looking like once I'm done. A few minutes to go. Excuse me while I cycle some uh, Megalosaur reading cycles. Uh, wow, I didn't catch that egg hatching quite in time. But it's triplets! Oh boy, I'll need more. Uh, I'll need more... Uh, uh, nameless Venom for this. Thankfully, I can uh, freeze uh, freeze them into a cryopod if I have to. Let's call you M1. Let's call you M2. Actually, I think I'm actually gonna kill two of these because they're triplets, so they have the same stats. And this is also a male, let me guess. Oh god, it's female, thank god. Then I have a breeding population. Yeah. Um, behavior, stance, passive. Behavior, sorry for the fan, by the way. Lowest, behavior, disabled, ally looking. Uh, options. Uh, I don't know, behavior. Copy settings to the nearby rock drakes. Yay. 
Okay. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to kill these two. Because, sadly, I don't have the um, facilities to take care of four of them. Uh, options, I'm playing. Yeah. So I have one male and one female. And I'm going to sit... I'm going to check out their stats in just a moment. Did I kill those or not? Don't know. Uh, oh, right. Here. They're dead, right? Didn't push them through or something? Okay. Good, good. So all of these, do I have a level 192? I do... Yes. That's the wrong one. Okay. Ooh, I have two level 192s. That's really good. Um, 588, that's the standard amount of melee damage. I don't need that. I need to stack only melee damage. Any other mutations can be on different breeding lines. Uh, because you can only stack 20 mutations. I don't want them all to be the same thing. That way I can stack a 20 mutation melee and a 20 mutation um, health and some other stuff. And this one is also 588 melee. So sadly there is no progress on the Megalosaurus. I need a drink. Take a sip from your trusty Vault 13 Canteen. Right, so, these guys should be fine. They are maturing relatively quickly. So I might need to grab, take them out of here ASAP. Oh great, they're stupid. Oh god, thankfully one of them can get through at least. Behavior. Follow this from lowest. Well then turn around. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Good boy. Good girl. Come on. Ah, it's the female that's stupid. God's above. To me. Ugh. Good. I'm not gonna pamper these guys because uh, I want them to have their stats. Oh, through here. I'll rebuild these. Come on. Joy. Okay, so let's check their stats. I'm going to rebuild the greenhouse off screen. Okay, 37 health, 8 10 stamina. 4,000 health, 8 10 stamina. Okay, so this guy's, she's got health. She's got health. Oxygen 480. Oxygen 570. She's got health and oxygen. Food don't matter. Weight, 464, 488. This is get better. Health, oxygen, and weight. And melee damage, 189, and 189. <laughs> so she has all the best stats. And he's got all the same, same level stats or weaker. His only better stats food, which doesn't matter. So you are... Um, essentially perfect, so I can't really do anything with that. Hmm. Yeah, I'm not going to get above level 100. Not, not meaningfully. Maybe a few levels. So how about I call you... Yeah. And I'm going to make sure that whatever Rock Drake I am raising to be my personal mount is to have all these stats. 
Not her. Not herself. No. I want backups. Uh, what's the cuddle? What's the cuddle? So neither of them want to go on a walk, so let's go on a walk. They sound like they have suction cups on their claws, which might actually be true. I don't really know. So, while well, these two idiots mature slowly, I'm gonna... Yeah, their health seems to be... Go their, their food seems to be doing perfectly fine. Uh, I'm gonna be breeding more Megalosaurs. And my two rock drakes have become adults. Let's enable mating. I'll also need to make a saddle for their eventual spawn. So let's get started on that, shall we? There we are. Are these guys still... Yep, still gestating. Um, Rock Drake saddle. I don't have a blueprint for it. But here's a basic one. Requires 85 red gems, smithy. Okay, let's grab 100 red gems from here. Oh, it's got 88, perfect. Let's make a rock drake saddle. Requires some more hide. Okay. Thank God for storage. Right. Lovely. Oof. Okay. I'm gonna have to put this egg in stasis and get some more uh, nameless venom. Forty seconds to burn. Let's, eh, let's not toggle those guys on. I've got other stuff to do. I'm hoping, like, the baby gets most of the f of the female stats. Uh, like 4,000 health instead of 3,000. But it, it doesn't matter too much. I'm gonna try an imprint on the baby once it's, it's good. And if it's not a good baby, I might actually, um... If it's male and has some of the female stats, I might replace this Gen One. If it's male and has all the if, you, if it's male and has all the female stats, I'll definitely replace it. Whatever. We have one seed. We have one egg. And now, time to start hatching it and gather a bunch of uh, nameless venom. This guy is not perfect, but he's good enough. I call you Linus, because line rider. That's what these things do. They go in big, long lines, down and up the aberrant arc. Now I'm going to have to pamper this thing. Poor bastard. You're mine now. You're going to be obsolete in a day or two. Yeah. It's nearly done. And then we'll be going to war. Or rather, I'm going to explore the blue zone, uh, the green zone, and then the blue zone quite a bit more with Linus. I want to level him up quite a bit before we go into the red zone. All right. First things first, I put his parents up on the out up on my base. Okay, that works. Okay, he ate all the. He ate all the nameless venom. Mm, too bad. Okay, so you can leap pretty high. You can go invisible. You can walk up structures. Good. Going invisible requires... Um, ooh. Uh, I don't get how this works, but whatever. Can you attach? Yes, you can. Okay, so that's going to be useful. It is dark. Do I have my... Yes, I do. Gods. Uh, we're going that way. Hopefully it'll be dawn soon. 
Glide, you... Okay, so that's how gliding works. You sprint to glide. So it is. Yeah, I'm gonna need to get used to this. Howdy, innocence. Yeah, this is not a max level one, obviously. Its turning circle is, uh... Something to get used to. I'm thinking the first few things I add are gonna be, uh... A bit of damage. And some speed. Oh, I can't add, add to its speed. Interesting. So I'm gonna add a bit of damage and then a bit of health as well. well let's see how this works up the cliff. Oh, no sprinty? No cliff walky either. Interesting. Toggle something? I don't know. There we are. Cliff walking. They're nice and slow, unless you sprint them. Okay, I'm not gonna mess with the Stego, but I am gonna mess with these guys. Attack. Oof. Hello, raptors. Help me. Thank you. That happens every once in a while. This thing needs more stamina. Still gonna focus on melee at the moment. Yeah. I wanna have some fun with it, like for a good long time. Nice and mindless killing. We're currently suffering through the last day of a heat wave, so I wanna like watching TV while I kill shit in the green zone and the blue zone with this thing. I'll put the camera back on with something interesting happen. What the hell was that? Okay, so that was left click to I did something to cause it to I don't know. Uh good. Oh, it's got good good health scaling, which is good. Which is nice. Um, yeah, I'm gonna just wander around this place. If I see something cool, I'll let you know. Guess what I figured out? If you jump, then glide, then left click, you can lunge. Now we're getting somewhere. Now we're cooking with gas. And I'm also going back to base because I forgot my shield. Well, let's try this. Whoop! <laughs> There we are. Oh yeah. Downward. Okay. Definitely still uh, getting used to stuff. I think there's a limited amount you can glide if you're not going downward. So that's the mobility thing. So how about we go down a bit? And here. Lunge. Oh, don't don't jump off. Well, that's. I learned something today. Don't press jump, because they don't jump toward where they're looking. They're just jumping the opposite direction, which would be useful in due time. What if I jump? Oh, not enough stand on the glide. Okay. Well, as you can see, that's where I'm from. So, let's get back there. And I figured out what right click does. Right click activates or deactivates latching mode. Which lets you jump up. Well. Oh. Hello. Which lets you walk up the sides of walls. While it doesn't cost any stamina, it does prevent you from recharging stamina. 
So if I right click in just a second, I'm going to be deactivating latches mode. So it does. Yeah, I'm having trouble activating gliding from that, but whatever. The logic is sound. And loud noises. On we go. Let's go into the blue zone, huh? Come on. Up you go. And back down. Oh yeah. That's pretty cool. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, this is gonna be good. Hello. Well, on I go to mindlessly killing everything in the area. Also, check this out. This nameless venom actually dramatically heals the rock drake. Makes sense. Now that we have a proper rock drake, it might be time to go back to visit the, uh, Mighty Underground. Here we are. Set up some stuff for today. It's a new work day. A new day of recording. So yeah, we're going to back go back into the red zone. Linus's stats are a little bit better, but I still wouldn't trust him to defeat a bunch of uh, other rock bricks, so I brought my expendables again. Because that worked out pretty good last time. We Okay. I'm not quite sure where to go from here. I do know I want some stamina back, though. That looks to be the place. That looks to be exactly the place. Yeah, there's that blue light. There's a blue light, at least. Come on. That away, you wretch. Excuse me. Ow. Right. There's a lot of rock drakes here. There's definitely a lot of rock drakes here, and they did not aggro too many at once. Until I mobilize. That is a pretty coloration, though. Gadget Megalosaur. God me. Oh, is this one of the ones that I didn't put on Attack My Targets? No, this one is definitely one of the ones I put on Attack My Targets. Okay, now I need to basically bunker here for like 10 minutes or more than that until my cryo cooldown. See the timer in the bottom right? Uh, falls off for each and every one of these expendables. Give me a sec. Alrighty then. Follow me. You see these glimmering things on the ground? I think they're black pearls. I want to find out. Will there be light? Oh god. That includes you, buddy.
Hello, Mr. Rock Drake. Now, are these regular pearls or black ones? black pearls. Interesting. The legends were true. I'll come back here sometime for these things because they are relatively heavy. Yeah. I'm gonna dump these. There's plenty more where those came from. Black pearls are a component of tech technology. Tech level equipment, at the very least. Okay, the constant nameless attacks are becoming a bit of a hassle. How about we go take this someplace else? Oh, come on. I don't think you guys have much in the way of options. Nah, not really. You can just stay here. Go over there. When I find a rock drake egg, I'll just flee over to you guys. And, uh, well, I'll have you take care of it for me. Whoops. Yeah, my suit's a bit worn out, or at least from all the waiting, but I have a second suit. I definitely didn't go all the way back up to get that second suit, honestly. Okay. Let's go find a smack of purple in this amber hell. Not that smack of purple. Smaller one. God. I don't see one just yet. What's this mount? Yeah. Uh. Ah! Purple. There's a rock drake egg right over there. I can handle one drake. I hope. Yeah, I think I can handle this guy. The most important thing to let my stamina regenerate before I grab one of these eggs. And there is more of them down here. Your stamina, be healed. This other drake is obviously a bit too close, but it'll, uh... Yeah, it's probably gonna jump me if I grab the egg. Come on. Well, actually, nameless do dare spawn here. That's unexpected. Might be so kind as to give me some nameless venom. No such luck. Option nine. Oh, look at that. Forty five. Completely valueless, but it marked me. It has marked me. So I need backup. There they come. With ring and ears, social misfits. Oh yeah. God me. That was fast. That's very good.
Any more drakes? Yes, indeed. Now, I want that drake to be provoked, too. please thank you excellent let's see if this is even ground it is but it's not the kind of ground I'd want to leave these guys at but whatever needs most when the devil drives and all that rock drake can't climb okay let's Come on, bastards. That's all y'all. You can cut through here, you know you can. One more. Yay! Lovely. Now, this is a bit of a, you know, murder pit, but it's perfect for them. Not because they're particularly murdery, but, you know, because it's close to the rock drake eggs that I want to grab. The other rock drake eggs that I want to grab. Where are they? Right bloody well there. Okay. There's one. There's a second one. Let's see what level these things are. Anything above level 100 is an improvement. And this thing is 165. Yeah, that's mine. That's what one might call a keeper. And here come the rock drakes. Come and bring it. I saw two more eggs. I'm going to cycle them, as in I'm going to grab them. And if they're valueless, I'm going to drop them again. That way, new ones will spawn. Hey, buddy. You're boned. Thank you. Oh, there's another drake. Okay. That's its parents. 165 egg. Now, that's an improvement. I'm glad for that. Yeah, I want some armored drock rake saddles in future. Well, in the distant future. In the near future, I just want a better Drock Drake. Because this thing is the perfect amount for mobility in this place. Level 20. To be clear here, no. I mean, I could use these to tame, ba tame a Basilisk, in theory. But I can always just use, you know, the eggs from my hatched rock drake female to do that. Another 165! Now that makes me very happy because I could do the same trick as with my previous rock drakes to crossbreed them. Okay, that egg is looking like a egg in a uh, nest. Even if it isn't. So I'm going to have to destroy it, and then eat it. Are you sure? Yep. Yummy. <sighs> okay. Let's see if we can, can't find any more rock drake eggs. I mean, this trench is pretty big. Oh look, another drake egg, and another, and another. Hmm. I'm gonna grab that one first, and I'll come back for these two in just a bit. Actually, my weight limit is 
currently so high that I'm actually probably going to go to base to stash these 165 eggs once I'm done here. This will be a bit of a difficult sprint. Flee, flee now. Jump, you wretch! Jump! <sighs> Gods. Panic is bad for you. Still coming for me? Because I don't want them to... Yes, they are. Good. Perfect. No, get back up. I want to eat the pathetic level 55 egg. Yes. And now I'm going to go back up. Now, I haven't tried this before? Question mark? Oh, God. So I'm going to take my time going back up. record it. How I travel back up to my base and then back down here. Well, back down here is dead easy because I just follow the spine. Let's see if going back up is that easy too. I wonder if I can climb up the actual spine. Uh, problem with that is if I try that and I fuck up, I'll fall into the... Yeah. Still, it's worth a go. Let's heal my stamina for a bit. That's where I'm coming from. That's where the megalosaurs are. Good times. Let's give it a go. Hmm? That actually works. Let's see to what extent I can just climb this thing. Uh, I can spend more stamina on that, but I don't want to in case I fall. Let's just climb my way out of this place. That seems to be working, to my, my own amazement. Didn't even need the second suit yet. Good. Once I'm at base, I'm going to drop those rock drake eggs and uh, probably repair my suit and then come back. Sounds good. Yeah, this actually works. In theory, I could just jump to the side. But who needs to do that if you just have a. Uh, clear access all the way to the top like this. Still a mi miles faster than the alternative winding route all around the uh, arc. How about this? And latch. Yeah, that requires a lot more stamina. But it works. Still bloody well works. I can turn you off for a bit. Charge your battery. Whoa, whoa, whoa. That's not what I want. There we are. Ooh, look, green zone. Perfect. That's an ape. Yeah, these rock tricks are pretty large. I'm gonna go to the top of this thing. I'm gonna have to recharge my battery a little bit. If I can. Retrip my stamina a little bit. Ah, oh, shit. In case that don't work. 
putting points into stamina seems to be a very good idea for these things. These creatures. Especially because they have a cloaking field that works on almost everything. So that's the green zone, past that pillar over there. Good. Minimal expenditure. Flip over to the other side and leap to the next pillar. Sounds good. Whoop. Good. Leap over to the next pillar and glide down. Yep, there's your, there's your green zone. I could actually probably leap to that pillar. Glide, please. Thank you. Took more effort than I'd like. Well, you can make it. He did make it, just not very easily. Stamina regen. And then we're in the blue zone already. Quite nice. Oh, well, you have nameless venom on you. That's good. That lets you heal. And a free zipline anchor. I mean, I'm not going to say no to those. Now you know what happens next. And now this wall latching doesn't actually expend stamina; it just prevents regenerating stamina, which I think, which I find a very good balance. Leap of faith. Oh, ooh, is that even the? So it is. Some of you might recognize that. That's the frickin' highway. We are coming home. We are coming home. We're home. Ow. <laughs> right. Oh god, I want to do another just route straight down like this. I'm mesmerized. We got some rock drake eggs. Do I need to repair my... Yeah, I definitely do. Because it's not powered. Okay. Turn you on. You need... You need polymer. Uh. Great. Now I need to grab Mr. Krebs. Because it needs polymer, which means Karakinos. Yay. Give me a sec. We are. We like polymer. What else do you need? Oh, this one's already repaired. Good. Good, good. Oh, yeah. Now, what do we do? Well, I could drop half my zip lines, obviously. Well, they don't have any weights. Mm. It's good. What, was I, what did I want to show you guys? Oh, yeah. The descent. Down. Back. Down. Well, we've started uh, this last segment of this episode here. Next episode, we're going to be breeding more tech dinos off screen. And I'll see what else I'll do, recording wise. I don't have a solid plan for this next episode. This episode has gone on long enough, I'd say. Let's wait until the stamina to regen, and then follow the road over there, Zs. Oh, yeah. Absolutely glorious in its own way. That's our destination already. It's a matter of seconds. Ooh. 
Ooh. Oh my god. Someone had some beef with me. Someone still has some beef with me. Let's grab those last two eggs on screen. And then you will be assured that I grabbed a bunch more eggs off screen. Let me tell you that. Ooh, there's an egg spawned right there. Let's leave it at that egg then. Well, I would love to film more. I uh, understand this episode length is done. And I don't want to fit this in the next episode. Not exactly. Huh. Lady. Valueless. Still, here come the last big Drake brawl. Let's go. Guys. God, me. Ooh, 190 Rock Drake. That's insanely high. You're chilly, no shit. Deep in the depths of a dead arc near the space. Outer space. Alright. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next episode where we'll be bringing more powerful rock breaks. In the meantime, I'll be uh, gathering some eggs.